it, it's great to be here in London and have a chance to talk with you about uh, a subject that I'm fairly passionate about, the, the subject of memory, and especially memory distortion. Um, I go through life uh, noticing memory problems everywhere. Uh, and last year, one of them just happened to fall into my lap. Uh, our current Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, was running for the Democratic nomination for the presidency. And as uh, you know, I'm sure she lost that election. But while she was running uh, and campaigning, she talked about a trip that she'd taken to Bosnia. And here's what she said about that trip. She said, I, remem I'm, I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead, we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles to get to our base. So she describes this terrifying experience. It turns out that that arrival in Bosnia was filmed. And when the film was produced, it didn't look anything like her memory. It was a peaceful greeting. There were children there. She arrived with her daughter and a lot of other people. Uh, and so what is going on here? Well, the pundits had a, a whole lot of fun with this story. One of them gave her four Pinocchios, insinuating that she was a liar four times over because there was no corkscrew landing, there was no sniper fire, there was no canceled airport reception, and she was not the first lady to go into a war zone. So how does this very intelligent, very well-educated, significant human being make this kind of mistake? She had an explanation, uh, by the way. I mean, when confronted with the evidence, she said, I made a mistake. I had a different memory. I made a mistake. That happens. That proves I'm human, which for some people is a revelation. Uh, and I think what's so great about this example is that she probably wasn't lying. She is human. She made a mistake, a really big mistake, uh, in the end, it didn't hurt anybody, but it, it shows that it, having intelligence, having education, having experience, being in the public eye for a long time doesn't protect you from having what we're now calling very rich false memories. So I want to tell you a little bit about my work on false memories, and in, in doing so, it, it's just my particular interest in this field. I tend to look uh, to legal cases as an important application of the work uh, because it's in these legal cases that very, very precise memory often matters. And so, for example, one type of situation is a kind of a typical armed robbery case or a rape case or maybe a murder where there is an eyewitness to the crime that actually happened, we now know that there are a growing number of wrongful convictions in these types of cases. And I'm concerned about those. How do we know? You go to the website of the Innocence Project, where they're cataloging the cases that they've discovered, where people have been convicted of crimes that they didn't do, they spent five years, 10 years, 15 years or more in prison for these crimes, and now DNA has proven that they were actually innocent.